Oh, how I hate to get up in the morning. Gee, but I'd rather remain in bed. For the hardest role of all is to hear the bugler call. You gotta hit up, you gotta hit up, you gotta hit up this morning. I'm just here to say happy birthday, happy 90th birthday to my dear husband, and I'm grateful that all my kids are here to celebrate this occasion. <laughs> I do a thousand songs, four be six songs in a song. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Uh, happy birthday, Grandpa! It's sunny outside and it's, everyone's here and everyone's happy and I hope you have a great birthday. Peace. Bon compleanno, Mr. Love. Okay, thank you. I'm so glad that we dropped in to say goodbye to Bronwyn, who's going on vacation, because we <laughs> were surprised, along with Nat, at his surprise 90th birthday party. Who would have expected it? And I wouldn't have missed this party and this lovely, lovely presentation. By chance. Of Guy and Doll. Guy and Doll. Oh, well, um, I mean, what we really are facing here, basically, is, uh... Yeah. years of, of life, this is quite an, an accomplishment. I just wonder if any one of us will have a chance to live through so much change as he has. A completely different Toronto from what he's living in now. Anyways, happy birthday, Nat. We all love you, Dad. Congratulations. 90 years? Wow! I'm very happy to be part of this event, to be part of this uh, family, this wonderful show that we put on. And if you want to see more of this, you're going to have to look at the whole tape. Happy birthday, Nat. Ninety years? Wow. How old am I? I'm uh, 39. I've got a long way to go. Let me know how you did it, or how you're doing it. Hi, Dad. Happy birthday from your loving son, Phil. And I uh, hope you have uh, what I tried 90 to more. Say earlier and, to and get you to uh, understand basically what I was like trying to tell you. It's a tremendous achievement. You've said it yourself, and and it's true. Not too many people do make it to there, and uh, and you've done it. And uh, more power to you. Uh, lots of love. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Nat, it's a privilege to be here to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. And you know, it's been such a pleasure to get together with the family to try to work up some kind of a program to entertain you. And so, without further ado, on with the show. Taylor's 90th birthday. Uh, this evening, the Elm Avenue Players, with the cooperation of Frank Lesser and the Live End Corporation and David and Edward Mervish, are going to present a little show that we call A Guy and a Doll. Because, Nat, you are both a guy and a doll. <laughs> I've got the card right here, says happy birthday, dear. You know, the guy who wrote it was real sincere. For you, for you, this guy says the card's for you. He's hoping that you won't sue. We hope so too. We've got a cake right here, says happy birthday dear. We know the guy who baked it was real sincere. For you, for you, this guy says the cake's for you. And we say the cake's for you, for 
you, for you. We've got balloons on here, say happy birthday, dear. We know the guy <laughs> who blew them was real sincere. <laughs> they are Kay. Birthday card. We've got the show. Towers over the rest. 
Call us daughters and sons. You're the one that we rely on. You're a mensch. You're our father and you're a doll. A doll. A doll. A mensch and a father and quite a doll. And so, as Jimmy Durant, he always used to say, Them's the conditions that prevail. You're a mensch. You're our 